Somalia has voiced its concerns over the country's decision to close the Dadaab refugee camp in the northeast of Kenya. It says the move will increase the threats of militancy in the region. Now, the country's Ministry of Foreign Affairs says, quote, expelling vulnerable Somali refugees at a time when Somalia is making internationally recognized progress towards stability and institution building will only increase the risk of insecurity in the region. Kenya, on the other hand, argues that fighters from Somalia's Al-Shabaab militant group have used the camp as a launch pad for attacks in Kenya. There are currently over 300,000 refugees living in that camp, most of whom are from Somalia. Now, CCTV's Abdulaziz Bulo is keeping tabs on this developing story from the Somali side. He now joins us live from the country's capital, Mogadishu. Uh, Abdulaziz, of course, authorities there now adding their voices to those protesting Kenya's intended closure of the camps that are hosting hundreds of thousands of Somali refugees. Uh, considering Kenya's concerns over the uh, security burden, the economic burden of, of hosting these refugees, what is the Somali government uh, suggesting should be done instead of closing the camps? Well, the authorities here are not saying that they are against uh, the return of Somali refugees back to Somalia. They actually say that uh, in, uh, this is a process that must be done and eventually the Somalis in their thousands who are living in camps in Kenya eventually have to come back to Somalia. But what authorities here are saying is that uh, this process should be done in a safe and a dignified manner. Now, what they are saying is uh, that uh, they are acknowledging the fact that Kenya not only hosts uh, the largest number of Somali refugees, but it has also hosted these refugees for a very long period of time, more than two decades. So authorities here are actually acknowledging the burden that Kenya is facing in terms of economic, in terms of security-wise, but they are saying that uh, they, they acknowledge the fact that Kenya is indeed hosting Somalis. They are acknowledging this fact, and they are more than happy, but they are saying that uh, Kenya should uh, remain uh, committed uh, under the international obligations uh, to protect uh, the rights of refugees. They are saying that eventually these Somalis have to come back home, but uh, this process should be done in a safe and dignified manner, and at the end of the day that uh, uh, these refugees should be returned back to Somalia in a very nice way and not be forced to come back to Somalia like the way Kenya said that it's going to completely close down the refugee camp. So they are voicing concerns at this stage, but they are acknowledging the fact that eventually the refugees need to be brought back. And Abdulaziz, this issue, or at least the sentiment that eventually the refugees must come back home to Somalia, uh, raises the, the issue of voluntary repatriation, that program, of course, that was started between Somalia and Kenya back in 2015. But it seems that not many uh, refugees actually returned to Somalia under that program. Well, in the very few hundreds have managed to come back to Somalia under the tripartite agreement that was signed between Kenya, Somalia, and uh, the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR. But uh, a vast majority of Somalis who are living in Kenya also came back to Somalia, but not under the repatriation program. They came back on their own accord. So uh, these uh, authorities in Kenya, actually the Foreign Affairs Minister of Kenya, Amina Mohammed, said that uh, this process is there. Kenya, Somalia, and UNHCR have an agreement on uh, the repatriation of Somali refugees. But what prompted Kenya to take this action was the fact that this process was very slow and uh, authorities were saying that it's bound to expire by the end of this year. But what UNHCR and other international human rights organizations are saying is that uh, this uh, move is not good for the refugees uh, who are living in Kenya to be brought back to Somalia in regards to the situation here in Somalia. But what authorities here in Somalia, actually there was a cabinet session yesterday in Somalia where authorities said that the tripartite agreement is a clear blueprint and a clear goodwill from the Somali government that indeed it was committed in returning its nationals back to Somalia and the need that Kenya should keep these camps open for a while until this agreement is put into place and all the uh, refugees are brought back home. All right, well, thank you. Abdulaziz Bilo with that update, lying for us there in Mogadishu.